is. And so we're going to look off of Jackson's. He got the answer. The formula was uh, minus 2 times cosine of 2 times pi divided by, right so small, 1.3? I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure. Okay. You remember that? I remember I asked you about it. And then you times that by x minus plus 0.2. That's what he got. If you're, I recommend you just stick with sign. So um, then hit enter. It's, I don't, it's not a formula, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Put your values in there. I just changed it. I don't want it to change it. So put, put your actual values in there. Copy and I got it. So um, you copy and paste that formula that you came up with into the cell and put an equal sign in front of it. So that makes it now a formula that Excel can read. It's screaming at me anyways. How do you put pi in there? You just put open brackets next to the pi so Excel recognizes it. It'll do pi for you. Otherwise, you can put 3.14 as their estimate. And then instead of x, you replace the x with a2. What's it doing? I didn't like something. Oh, I didn't close my parentheses. So that's the formula. Let me just double check that I got that right. Parentheses around here. Parentheses around the cosine, this thing. I think I have it correct. And then you just double click it. I had it in the wrong cell. Let me put this in here. You put it right next to here in this cell C2. And then double click a little, make sure it's a thin cross like this and double click it. And it just scrolls down and it puts in all the values for all the X values. So these are, this is what you get if you plug this in. Now, if you want a new point, I forgot what they asked you to do. They didn't ask you anything on this one. But let's say they wanted it at 3. Just put 3 in here, and it gives you the reading. It gives the answer here is what it is when x is 3. So I think you're only asked for prediction on Oh, number 2, they want you to find an intercept on problem 3. And number two on problem one, they just want the period, capital T. And problem two, yeah, they want it at 100 seconds. So they want you to plug in a new x value. And number two, they want you to plot everything on the same graph. How do you do that? Well, what you do is, instead of this graph that I have here, you take your predictions. And then just highlight all three columns and go insert chart. Well, I have to delete these things, that new things that I put here. It won't do it if you have missing values. So let me delete these two. And then if I want to say what actually have what um, the three graphs look like, you just highlight all three and you go insert charts. And there it has it. So what do you guys think of um, Jax's prediction? Pretty decent? It's great. Probably just had to move on with that. Level of applause. Like. So that, I think on number two, they want you to actually plot your predicted alongside your Excel, like the actuals. Yeah, they did. <laughs> you can. So that's what they want. And I mean, if you look at my scatter graph, right? Sure. I mean, it comes messed up on my.